Hey YouTube. Uh, sort of show you this. This is my little uh, my little circuit for a. Um, uh, it says motor there, but it's that's just a for the fan. It's a a temperature controlled um, fan, basically running off a 12 volt 12.7 volt battery, which would be my <clears throat> my uh, batteries from the solar panel. We got a 5k NTC negative temperature coefficient um, thyristor there, and then what happens? Um, we got a 5 500k pot here, which you can use. Yeah, it's, so you use this uh, LM741 as a voltage comparator. And so basically, <clears throat> when this side is uh, high like this, the motor doesn't work. When it goes low, because we turn the um, turn the voltage up, um, this side will then go low. I actually put it on there. You can see. There you can see right there. Uh, and then we got a um, we got we got fan action. And as it cools back down again, between 20 and 25, the, the motor stops. Turn it back up again, 25, and off it goes again. <clears throat> now that's all well and good, making it in there. Um, but for me, it's just a, uh, it just shows that the, the circuit works, which is quite good. And so I built it down here. I may as well take this off here because it doesn't actually show anything. Um, <clears throat> I'll just switch the power on there. So I've got it built up here. The only difference is, is I haven't got a uh, N NTC uh, thyristor, so I've just put another um, 4.7k um, resistor there. But you can still turn it on and off. And you can, you know, you, you, there is a um, an area in between. You gotta just ignore this circuit. This is because I keep this on this fan, so I can put it onto other projects that take more than 12 volts, and it doesn't blow the fan. Um, but yeah, so basically, you can just turn that up a little bit, turn it down. And there we go. Simple, a simple little circuit. And now I know that this will work here. I'm quite happy to order myself some 4.7k uh, NTC. I tried doing it with these LM35s, but I I bought a whole bunch of them. I say a bunch of them, five of them from China, but none of them worked. None of them worked. Some of them you had to actually put in the reverse way around to actually get it to do anything. Otherwise, it was just shorting. Uh, not very good at all. Uh, that's a PMP transistor as well. That's the first time I've actually used one, uh, you know, by itself. Rather than having to turn the voltage up then on the base to make this work, you've actually got to reduce it uh, for the rest of the circuit to work. So, big old learning curve. Great fun playing with um, a simulator though because at least then you get to play around. I've got the I've got the faults and everything switched on on this thing uh, on the simulation. You can see they've got explosions and faults on so if there is any there are any faults. Um, I did have some earlier I kept having apparently sort of like 40 odd amps go through this and it kept blowing out the motor um, and the diode but I'm not quite sure what was going on there I need to do some more playing around and um, and experimenting, but that's what it's all about, though, isn't it? So, I'm quite chuffed that that's a that is going to be a working system using that um, 741. And I'm going to end up building up. I just got to wait for the NTCs. I'll build up a little board. And I'm hoping I can do it so I can control over there those two fans, one either side of the batteries. So, as it gets warmer. Uh, the fans kick in, and of course as the temperature drops, the uh, fans will go off. So, yeah, 
pretty sure if that works. Turn that right down again. And as you can see, it doesn't really take a great deal of power there either. But that's only because it's doing that little fan. Uh, it's got to now have two over there in series because the uh, the solar panel will sort of let through sort of about 17 volts maximum so I can just about get away with this um, this particular 741 because this will let me do 18 volts uh, but I don't know what it will be like with a varying voltage going up and down on this so I may end up having to use one of these just to keep a a steady voltage or as close as I can get to a steady voltage probably about 12 volts um, maybe a little bit higher in from the in from the solar panel before it gets to this but we'll see uh, yeah. I'm quite chuffed with that because I need something that works and this this will actually do it or at least it shows here that if I um, you know if I go up in the heat my motor starts turning if I drop back down in the heat again um, especially depending on how this is adjusted um, the, the motor stops at 25 so above 25 we've got the motor working and we drop it down to 25 again and the motor stops brilliant anyway cheers for watching guys